Hi everyone, welcome to Battlestar Collectica, the channel dedicated to the toys, the collectibles, the memorabilia surrounding the Galactica universe. In today's episode, we are taking a look at a fan favorite, a real, genuine, holy grail action figure. The Athena figure issued back in 2014 by Biff Bang Pal. Now this figure is special for a lot of different reasons. The biggest one is that Athena is a fan favorite to original series fans, and this is the only action figure ever to be issued based on that character. Both Majestic Studios as well as Joyride Studios had announced Athena figures, but they never went into production. And the second reason is that she appeals not only to Galactica collectors, but Mego collectors who are very dedicated to anything that is issued in that classic 8-inch format. Now, the reason why she is considered a Holy Grail figure is because she was produced in really limited amounts. While she was on pre-order, news started to leak out that Biff Bang Pal was no longer going to be producing classic Battlestar Galactica merchandise. And because of that, a lot of retailers, especially comic book shops, canceled their orders. They didn't want to be stuck with a product line that was discontinued. So if you have this figure in your collection, consider yourself very, very lucky. Expect to pay between two and $300 for an Athena on a decent card. That is a very high price when Apollos and Starbucks are selling in the $50 to $60 range. As for the actual toy itself, it's a really nice figure, especially when you compare it to the earlier offerings with their slightly oversized heads. I mean, Biff Bang Pal really did a good job with her. The rooted hair is high quality. The likeness is there. I love the high quality costume as well as the blaster and viper helmet. Now this figure has a little controversy to it. There is a story going around that the actress Marin Jensen had a problem with it because she did not get compensated for her likeness. I don't know if that story is true or not. So if anyone has any information on that, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have this figure in your collection, what do you think of her? Do you have it loose? Do you have it carded? How did you find her? Did you get her originally when she was pre-ordered? I would love to know. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, everyone. A look at a really great piece, a modern classic that is as rare as anything that Mattel did in the late 1970s. Have a great Galactica day, everyone. I will see you in the next episode. Please subscribe to the channel. Like I've said so many times in the past, there are over 20,000 Star Wars collectible channels out there and very few dedicated to Galactica, so we need to stick together. I'll see you soon and have a great Galactica day.